So this is a 2018 Luna Clubman ES. Going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. On the outside of the van, you've got your hitch, handbrake and jockey wheel. This is all stuff we'll go through in person here on site. And you've also got your power lead that connects to the car. In the front locker, you've got your water pump, your gas regulator and gas bottle tie-downs. On this particular van, it's actually got a gas changeover valve. So whichever bottle you're using, you'll need to point the arrow, as you can see on the right-hand side of the uh, dial there, to that particular bottle so that it uh, turns on the gas to that area or to that bottle. You've then got your leg winder in the front locker also. On the side of the van, you've got your Audi heating flue. So that's a bit like the gas flues that the older vans used to have, but this particular van, it's uh, already open and ready to go. You don't need to do anything with it. You've then got your wind-down legs on either side of the van at the front, either side. Underneath this cover here, you've got your water pump connection on this side, and you've got a shower attachment on this side, and you've got the filter in the top here. You've then got your battery box and mains hookup lead coming in the side of the van, as you can see. So mains power is coming from the site. Uh, into the van itself. You've then got your motor mover and wheels. The motor mover will demonstrate while you're here on site and we'll also torque the wheel notes so you can see they've been tightened correctly. On the side of the van also you've got your um, waste water uh, pipes coming outside the grey waste pipes. So you connect your grey waste pipes up and then drop them down into your waste master itself. The back of the van you've got your toilet flush tank which takes three and a half litres of water and a capful of the pink fluid. Then below that you have the toilet waste cassette which you'll need to put one litre of water in and a capful of the blue fluid before use. To release it from the side of the van you pull up the orange handle and pull towards you. On the back corner you've got your blue pressure release button there so when you're tipping the waste away um, it doesn't spit and splatter it back at you. On the back of the caravan on either side you have your wind down legs on both sides as you can see. Uh, we just put one down for the purpose of handover. Coming down the other side of the van, you've got your fridge vent to let out the hot air from the side of the fridge. Again, your wheels and motor mover. Then got your storage locker, um, wet storage locker front underneath the bed or underneath the seating at the front of the van. Your other wind down leg and your barbecue gas point at the front. So as you can see, we've moved on to the inside of the caravan now. And above the door is the first part we're going to come to. So above the door, you've got your main control panel for the caravan. You've got power on and off to the caravan your interior lights on and off, and then you've got your awning lights on and off as well. You've got your battery levels just here, which will bring up the battery level on the screen. You can't quite see it at the moment, uh, just due, due to the uh, damp that's in the air, or sorry, not the damp, the uh, uh, condensation that's on the screen at the moment. So you just have to give us a second. It'll clear up in a moment, I'm sure. And as you can see there, you see the different voltages coming through on the screen. You've then got your water pump run on the bottom left hand side and as you flick through on this button here you'll actually see some options appear at the bottom for different settings etc on the caravan that is something we advise you read the manual for now to fill the water system on this particular caravan you have to come underneath the seat on the far front side of the van and you'll find underneath the seat your yellow drain down valve now if you've caravan before you'll recognize this little switch and you'll know that when it's parallel with the floor, you can fill the water system. And when the valve is pointing upright towards the bottom of the seat, you can drain the water system down. Also below the seat, in the front of the van, you've got your mains control unit for the heating and hot, uh, or your mains control unit. So you've got your system shut down there on the top left hand side. Your 12 volt fuses on the bottom left hand side with a list below it to tell you what each of those fuses is for. Then on the right hand side, you've got your reverse polarity, your charger, your space heater and your water heater system. The water heater can actually go on at any point. Turn that on. And on the right hand side below that you've got your main trip switches. So with the valve parallel with the floor, what we're first going to do is, is go over to each of the taps on board the van. We're going to open up the taps on the hot side. That's a tap in the kitchen, tap in the bathroom, and the tap on the shower as well. I'm not going to do the shower one for now because I don't want to soak the shower tray with water. But once you've got all of the taps open, you can come to the control panel above the door, and you'll be able to turn on the water pump with the blue icon on here. And what will happen is, if the aqua roll was connected, the water system would start filling up. 
or the water pipe pump was connected, sorry, the water system would start filling up and when the water is continuously coming out of each tap, you'd then go back to each tap and shut them off individually. You'd shut the kitchen one off first, because that's the nearest one. The one in the bathroom, and then the one in the shower as well. Once you've got that to that point, you can go to the heating and hot water on board the van. You can press the menu button on the bottom right hand side. So this is your home screen essentially, that you can see here. So it's bringing up the internal temperature of the caravan at the moment, and that we've got mains power coming into the van. When your uh, heating pump is on, it'll come up with an icon that looks like two arrows chasing each other on the top left hand side. So we'll press menu. To turn, to turn the heating up, you press the arrow plus. Or to turn it down, you go minus. So on your water heating, this is the second icon down, the water symbol that you see here. You've got water heating on and you've got water heating boost. So in the centre here, that's water heating on and water heating boost when the bar is completely forward colour. Now you've got, then below that, you've got the mains power that's coming into the caravan. So depending on what site you're on, you'll either have one, two or three kilowatts of power available. Here on site, we've only got the one kilowatt available. So that is what we're running the heating on at the moment, one kilowatt. Below that, if you want to run the heating and hot water on gas, you can simply press the gas button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and that will ignite the heating and hot water system on gas. If for any reason it did fail to ignite, it would come up with a gas fail at the bottom of the screen with two exclamation marks at either end. To turn the gas off, you press the gas button and to turn your water off again, you just put it back down so the bar is completely empty. What we can also do, what we'll go to now is the fridge and turn the fridge on. We've got the power on the left hand side of the fridge. At the moment it's connecting to mains power, so as you can see, this icon is lit up here to say that it's on mains. And when you're on mains or gas, you can control the temperature of the fridge on the dial on the, on the button on the right hand side. To ignite the fridge on gas, you'd make sure the gas is turned on. Hit the gas symbol here, and then the fridge would ignite on gas. If it failed to ignite, it would flash the red light on this side, and it would also flash the, the uh, flame symbol just here. If you're towing down the road and you want to use the fridge as a cool box, you can put the fridge onto the battery option just here. As you can see at the moment, it's flashing at me to tell me there's no car connected, as you can see through the window there. But if it was, they'd go solid, um, and then it'd allow you to use the fridge as a cool box while you're traveling down the road. Cooker system, or the hob and cooker. Electric ring on the back of the hob, as you can see, just at the back here. That will take a lot longer to cool down than the gas ring, so we do advise you let that cool down before you shut the glass because it is tempered glass and it could potentially smash if it was too hot. Below that, you've got your cooker and your oven. Again, work very much the same as your household, the same as the hob does. Igniter on the front, as you can see, and then your gas valves going along the front here. The microwave on the far side of the van is actually an eco microwave. So to get the microwave to turn on, you have to hit the eco button when you connect it to mains power. If you don't do that, the microwave will not turn on and you will not be able to use it. And when you are traveling, as you can see here, we do ask or we do advise you to remove the microwave plate because if the microwave pop, pop, pops out when you are traveling down the road or pops a door open, it could potentially hit your cabinets on the other side, which uh, I wouldn't want to personally be replacing just due to the uh, cost of those. So just be very careful and do remove the microwave plate if you are traveling down the road. Light switches as you go around the van, all individually switched, as I'm sure you can probably imagine. Um, and as you go around the van, I'm sure you'll learn where the switches are. Coming into the bathroom, the last thing we can go to is the toilet system. You've got an electric flush on the toilet, as you can see here. And then you've got your gray waste flap at the bottom to allow the waste into the toilet cassette itself. So you'd open that up to let the waste down in the cassette. And on top of the toilet, you've got a full indicator light here to let you know when the toilet cassette is full on board the caravan. Now, if you have any further questions on the Luna Clubman ES, please do give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'd be more than happy to help. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.